White Night is a 24-hour cultural festival and the, with the emphasis really on free events uh, and engagement, engaging events. So it's really about bringing different audiences into the city on a Saturday night, people who might not otherwise be there, and creating a, a different mix, different atmosphere in the city centre particularly. Um, and it's also about providing an alternative offer in terms of events and things to take part in for those who are already there but, but for a different reason. Night Rider was a, a lovely project and, and, and something that really engaged people, gave an activity for them to do. People turned up with their bikes, got their set of clues and went off on a treasure hunt uh, and got little prizes along the way. It was hugely popular. One of the most important elements in the White Knight programme for us was the Dreams from the Edge programme, run by Creative Futures, an organisation that works with marginalised artists, uh, drug and alcohol service users, for example. The queues to get into Brighton Museum and Art Gallery were, were absolutely round the block, and we've got a, a particularly lovely exhibition there at the moment, Chinese Whispers, which has been very successful. There were lots of people who then went in to see that who really wouldn't have done otherwise. Opening up our venues uh, was very important and the, the queues for the Royal Pavilion went right round the gardens uh, and it was very nice to be in the music room and see people lying all over the, the carpet. Um, we had a number of projections, guerrilla projections on, on walls around the, the city centre. Jubilee Library had more people through than on its opening day. The, the success of the whole event really relied on a, a, a partnership approach. The venues uh, taking part, opening their doors for free, but also uh, Brighton and Hove bus services, for example, running nighttime services all the way through the night and real-time bus information relayed into some of our venues. People could very easily get home safely at the end of the night. St Paul's uh, was open that evening, one of our beautiful churches for people to go in and have a look around. And of course, St Paul's is also a safe space at other times of the year. The Lit Lit Trail, this was a, a, a series of lighting installations across the city, some of which were particularly placed in areas that, that we know are hotspots for, for crime and antisocial behaviour, such as the area up around St Nicholas Church. Um, and there were particular stories highlighted through those installations, love stories, and there were tours around those for, for uh, travelling audiences. The atmosphere was, was wonderful. We also had a, a whole range of venues open, including uh, the Prince Regent Swimming Pool, which had about 1,300 people through the door. So overall, we count it as a, a great success, and we're, we're all looking forward to, to next year's.